So guys, for the first step, you're gonna get into this screen. Now to get here, you're gonna turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, you're gonna turn it off again and then turn it back on again. You're gonna repeat this three times. So turn off your computer from the power button and then turn it back on again. As soon as it turns on, turn it back off again and then turn it back on again. Repeat this three times and then on the fourth time when you turn your computer on, it will take you into this screen. It's gonna say that your PC did not start correctly, you're gonna click on advanced options. Now once you're on this, I'm gonna be showing you three different methods and how we can fix this problem. So for the first method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then system restore. If you do not see system restore, then you're gonna click on see more recovery options. Then it should appear right here. So you're gonna click on system restore, and now this will come up. If you have a restore point enabled on your computer, you're gonna click on next and then go back to your restore point. This should then fix your problem. If you don't have a restore point, that's fine. We're gonna click on cancel. Now for the second method, we're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then start to prepare. It's now gonna start diagnosing your PC, wait for this to load. If that's still not working, we're gonna click on advanced options. And now for the third method, you're gonna click on troubleshoot, advanced options, and then command prompt. And then once you're on this, we're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash fix MBR. Click on enter. Now we're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash fix boot. Click on enter again. If it says access is denied, just ignore it. Now we're gonna type in bootrec space forward slash rebuild BCD. Click on enter again. Now we're gonna type in SFC space forward slash scan now. Click on enter again. You now want to run this scan. Wait for this to load. And now once that's been done, we're now gonna type in chkdsk space c colon space full slash f space full slash r. Click on enter again. You now want to run this scan as well. Wait for this to load. I'm just gonna get off this so I can finish the video, but in your case, you just wanna run this whole scan. It will take a while. Wait for this to load. Once you complete this scan, you're gonna close out of this. Then you're gonna continue to Windows and then the problem should be fixed. 